And here in New Hampshire, it was 10 years ago today that rain started to fall in a storm that would lead to the historic Alstead flood. And for one family, this disaster took not only their home, but also their livelihood. Determined to stay exactly where they were, they rebuilt. And now, a decade later, they're sharing the kindness and generosity that paved their road back. It was an Alstead mainstay, a business decades old that took care of an entire family. Everyone knew Kamich's garage. My father in law built it back in, I think it was 1943, he built it. And so my husband grew up there. It was always a part of our family. Um, he worked there forever. <laughs> From her home directly across the street, Kitty Kamich heard the violent crunch of rocks tossed around in the nearby brook. The pounding rain wouldn't stop. Like a tsunami, it was um, just like this wall of brown muck and mud and just coming down the valley at us. And so um, we had both our cars ready, so my husband and I just jumped in the cars with the kids. From higher ground, the Kamiches watched the water tear through their valley. Telephone poles swayed and bobbed, cars floated by. They stopped by the fire station, everyone desperate for news. And when it came, it was devastating. Somebody had a fire, a scanner, monitor kind of thing, and I heard them say, Kamich's garage is gone. As for their house, just across the street, it was still standing, but they would never live in it again. Ten years later, and it's still hard to talk about, but somebody actually bought us a mobile home. For a year and a half, the Kamiches lived in that trailer right next to their old house. A new garage went up across the street, and eventually, they moved higher up the hill to this house. Also built with too many donated items to count. Being homeless would be a good experience for anybody because it teaches you not to take things for granted, to you know appreciate what you do have. 